Hello, everybody. Welcome along. Forex Farmer back on the farm. Uh, I just want to talk to you very quickly in this video about a strategy I use if I want to pass a prop firm fund very, very quickly. You have to take a little bit of risk, but it works pretty well. You can also use it to grow small accounts fast as well. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Here we are then on GU or cable. This is the charts, the pair that I like to trade the most. Now, this is what I do every single day. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. I've used this to successfully pass prop firm challenges. I've used this to successfully grow Forex accounts. This is a great strategy. It's an ICT-esque strategy, but this is the exact steps that I take every single day. I've cleared the charts completely. Let's have a look at what I do. So. What do I do first thing? I head to the daily and I have a look at yesterday's candle. That's yesterday's candle. I will then mark out yesterday's daily high and yesterday's daily low. So there's the previous daily high and there's the previous daily low. I will then mark out with a Fibonacci from the top to the bottom and I will mark out a box between the 76.4, sorry, I'm telling a lie, between the 61.8 and the 38.2. And that is my equilibrium zone. Now, I don't always use this, but generally speaking, I won't take trades within this area. And I'll only be looking for buys if we are below the equilibrium zone and I'll only be looking for cells if we're above. Now there are, you know, it, that's not set in stone, but generally speaking, that's what I do. Then on the daily, we will have a little look and see if we can find any fair value gaps. If you don't know what a fair value gap is, I have a video on the subject. There are many videos on the subject. There's one here. This has been tapped into slightly, but there's a, huge area that hasn't so we will definitely mark this up as a daily fair value gap let's keep looking and work out if we have any others i don't see any so that'll do and then i will mark out any key structural points where i think liquidity will lie so i think we'll have some liquidity there so we'll pop that in where else we've got relative equal highs here so we'll mark that in as well and for now, that, that'll do, because we'll uh, pick up all the other areas on the lower time frames. Let's look, drop down to the four hour now. So on the four hour, same again. We have a look and see what we've got. So we've got probably some liquidity lying under there. We've got more relative equal lows here. So we will pop that in as well. On the on here, we're, we're pretty much we're looking pretty good there we do have relative equal highs here so again we will mark those out there and we've got this in here we can look for more fair value gaps we have one here we can draw that in we'll put that as a four hour fair value gap that's not completed yet these have all been filled in drop down to the one hour okay so on the one hour what have we got we've got one hour fair value up here but that's kind of picked up with the four hour so we'll leave that we do have liquidity here so we'll pop that in uh, yep this is all good Nothing else really going on on the one hour. 15 minutes. All looks looks fine. We've got the fair value gap in there. Let's see if we've got any others. Uh, got one there, but that's already been filled. We do have a we have a little fair value gap here, so it'll be interesting to put that in. Yes, very interesting. Let's get that in. Only small, but 
it's important nonetheless because price is very near it so we'll call that our 15 minute fair value gap and that's i think is that it yeah that's pretty much well we have actually no let's get that in look at all these lows here lots of relative equal lows there so that's what i did 7 a.m this morning uk london time an hour before london open then what i did was i uh looked on the 15 minutes because that's the main chart that i get my trade ideas from and i had a look and i thought well i'm below the equilibrium so i'm probably looking for longs we've already tapped into any liquidity that was below the previous daily low so that adds to looking for longs we have got some liquidity here we've also got a fair value gap so i wouldn't be looking for longs just yet because i'd like to see us draw into this fair value gap and also run this liquidity here we've also got liquidity down here which we could run as well so let's play price out now on the three minutes because this is the trading chart so i take so I get my idea off the 15 I'll, I'll generally drop to the three minute so there we go we've hit the fair value gap we've run liquidity what we look for now is either a run down to run this liquidity or a run up well first and foremost up to the previous daily low and then up into this fair value gap up here and that's what i'd be looking for i'd be looking for a market structure shift first though so let's keep looking and see what happens so we're still going down our last swing high is here so we'd be looking for a candle close above this swing high at the minute for us to consider a long we don't get it yet now we're moving lower and we've created this swing high in the process so i'm not looking at this now now i'm looking at this area a close above here not yet we run lower we've got a swing high here we run lower tapping in and running this liquidity here so let's see what happens next now we're still looking probably for a close hmm maybe above this area here don't get it yet are we going to run lower oh, we've got a not yet now i wouldn't use this because we haven't created a lower low so that's invalid we're still looking up here And we've gone lower as you can see this is the swing low the sorry the swing high so this is the area now that we're looking for a close above we've run lower again so now we move down to this swing high that we want to close above so it's a patience game but patience in trading pays off we've run lower again so now we're looking for a close above this swing high oh we didn't get a close oh wow we did there so there you go that's your close above look it's run all these it's a big candle it's tapped as well into this fair value gap but it's left a huge area fair value gap so we mark out the fair value gap here that's our fair value gap and i would be looking for a long position here with a stop just below the fair value gap and we'll be targeting well we'd probably have to just do a one-to-one -one on this one because as you can see we've got such a huge stop loss area but let's see what happens so we get tapped in
and that's where we are at the minute so as you can see this is a live trade you are more than welcome to check your charts to see how it plays out I'm in this trade right now I'm in it right right now I'm looking for a close into this area here well I get it I don't know but that is what I do every single day now normally you don't this is a bit riskier this trade because it was such a large bullish candle uh, and sometimes these can be a bit tricky because typically you have to have quite a large stop loss and because you've got a large stop loss you need to have a fairly large take profit so the risk to reward isn't always there but as you can see you know we have already come up to the previous daily low we've already come up to that now I'm actually targeting this area here on my actual trade for a 1.3 to 1 so it's not a great risk to reward but you do these every day they work they work really well this is what I do every single day I will start trading these live as well put a, a link put a um, a comment below if you want me to start trading live because I'm thinking about doing it I'm thinking about doing New York open live trading this strategy and we'll see what happens um, but if you've enjoyed it give it a like give it a thumbs up and let me know what you want me to do next for now see you later